Today we will look inside IKEA LED lights to see how this device works. I will show you its schematic and tell you why its design is weird. So, this is 5 bucks IKEA lights. According to the label, it is powered from 3V supply and consumes 150mW of power. Let's disassemble it and look inside. From the first look, it looks really simple. You can say, oh, there is a switch and resistor to limit the current. My 3-year-old child can build the same, it cannot be simpler than that, but wait for it. There is another side of PCB which already has some SMD components. From the first view, it looks like a simple DC-DC converter that regulates output current to supply LEDs. Or it can also keep output voltage constant and just limit current with some resistor. Because power is relatively low, so losses will not be high and it can be built like that. Other components on a PCB is capacitors, that is definitely a diode, this is probably transistor, resistor, and this should be a control circuit. Oh yeah, and from the other side there is an inductor. So my first thought was that it is a DC-DC converter with some regulation. But in order to be sure, I did some reverse engineering and drew a schematic. So here is what I got. Two batteries power the circuit. Simple switch is used to turn lights on and off. Main integrated circuit monitors input voltage, and when the voltage fluctuates due to battery discharge, regulates output voltage using open loop control. Then stable output voltage supplies LEDs through resistor, which limits the current that flows through the diodes, and everything should kinda work. For now I'm not discussing how good this circuit is for powering LEDs, I'm not suggesting using it in your projects or something like that, now I'm just trying to figure out how it works, regardless of its drawbacks and benefits. So now when I drew a schematic, I could stop at this point. Theoretically and in practice it should work. But I didn't stop. I decided to connect it to laboratory power supply and check how it regulates voltage and make some measurements, just for fun. And at nominal 3V, consumption was 25mA. Multiplying one by another gives us 75mW. Not 150 how it is stated on the label. That is the first thing. The second thing is how it works and it works really really strange. For example, what happens if I change the input voltage? Huh? Power consumption changes as well. At higher voltage current is higher and at lower is lower. As you can see, it affects the brightness of the diodes. Lower voltage, lower brightness, which is obviously not good. Usually in typical LED controllers output current and as a result power is constant and doesn't depend on the input voltage. So even if this device has a DC-DC converter, it behaves like it has no regulation. Like there is no DC-DC converter. But there are a lot of components on a PCB, they just should provide some functions. But look like they don't. So what all those components are doing here? Let's continue investigation further. Let's now measure voltage at this point to look if IC is switching the transistor or whatever it is. Uh -huh. As you can see, it is switching. Voltage at some moments is zero, which means that this point in reality is tied to ground at some moments. And when it's tied to the ground, inductor accumulates energy, like in a typical boost converter. Great, there is some hope that this circuit does something useful. Now let's look at output voltage and change input one to see how output changes. So at 3 volts at the input, output is a little bit lower than 3 volts, which is fine. But when I decrease voltage now, output also decreases and stabilizes at the value of 2.5 volts. Ok, useful function, we found it. When two batteries discharge lower than 125 volts each, or 2.5 volts in total, this circuit starts to be useful and in reality boosts the voltage, extending the device working time. Let's now see how low input voltage can be. Ok, at voltage lower than 1.9 volts it turns off. So eventually circuit does something. But still for me it is really really strange. Why it is not stabilizing output voltage at some constant level? Let's say 3 volts always. That is just basically functionality of the simplest boost converter. Looks like all components of the boost converter are there. So why didn't they just apply proper control? That's strange. Let's look farther. Let's check waveforms at the gate of the transistor to see the control signal and how it changes. And I found what? I found that there are no control signals, no PWM. I found their input voltage signal. And at that moment I started suspecting something. If there is no PWM at the input of transistor, but something pulls the inductor to the ground. So basically that means that it's not a transistor at all. 
and the scheme I previously showed is kind of wrong. The transistor must be incorporated inside this circuit, and this signal I measure here is just a power supply for this small circuit. So I reduce the circuit taking into account my new assumption. And here it is. Looks the same, but now without a big IC. That means that in reality this small IC does all the job. Monitors input voltage, switches inductor and regulates output voltage. That's fun, cause that means that this circuit in big case is just useless. It does nothing, right? Just transfers input voltage to a smaller IC. But why? For now I have no answer. I don't know, maybe it is some short circuit protection, protection against static electricity, discharge. So what I did to check my assumption about this big IC. I just removed it, I desoldered it from the PCB and with tweezers connected input voltage to this point. But because it's hard to hold it like that and check its characteristics, I soldered a piece of wire between these two points. What can I say now? It works the same, so I can say that this circuit is not crucial at all and the LED strip can function without it. However, it was not the end. I couldn't believe that IKEA engineers just put some components there for fun. Probably that circuit is doing something. So when I was already mounting the video, I again tried to find any information about it. And because it has no part number, I couldn't find the datasheet. But on some forums, people were asking the same question. What this circuit is doing? And people said it is a timing circuit. And it just clicked in my mind. Now it makes complete sense. That means that this circuit just counts 6 hours and after that, regardless of button state, turns LEDs off. So yeah, that's a simple timer. At that moment I felt like a fool which had not read an instruction before disassembling the device. It is probably stated in the instruction that this LED strip has such a function. But at least because of my stubbornness, eventually I found the functions of this IC. And now you will see the correct final circuit, which looks like this. But still, the fact remains, why didn't they just regulate output voltage to be constant at like 3 volts? I don't know. I hope this video was useful for you and you have learned something. Don't forget to press like button and subscribe to see new videos. See you!